Hello! Would you like a bad fan fiction? I don't know whether this is really fan fiction. It is fan fiction. But it's not fan fiction of actual media. It's fan fiction of creepypasta groups like they have. Um, and it's called Double the Trouble and it's by Creepypasta Girl 15, but that's not what's drawing my attention on the page that I'm currently on. What's drawing my attention is in the similar stories, there is a story entitled Friends with Pastas CP Story. And the only thing that comes to mind is the fact that CP in legal definition and in uh, internet lingo, if you will, because after all, I am a professional of the internet. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight voice. Uh, CP is child pornography, but apparently they want it to mean creepy pasta. But why? Okay, so now we can add more things to the list of what confuses people when they see the letter CP. It could be uh, Cookie Pizza. It could be Captain Planet. It could be uh, Creepy Pasta, obviously. Or it could be uh, Child Pornography, and you wouldn't know until you click the link. <laughs> Go ahead, click. Mm. Just make sure the FBI isn't watching because that's illegal. And not okay. What was I? Oh, yes, I'm going to read this terrible fan fiction, and I'm tired, and my voice sounds like I'm trying to be a professional. Which, why? Um, certainly isn't going to work. Okay, uh, the first image for the first chapter is Link with a bleeding eye. Because creepypasta is bad, and is never good. <clears throat> chapter 1, appropriately titled, Chapter 1. Nine years ago, Dawn and Luna Smith were sitting in their grandmother's living room with her. Not here, grandmother's living room, their grandmother's living room. She would tell them stories about how she met their grandfather, not here, grandfather, their grandfather, or about what they are. You two are just like your mother. She used to love my stories about our family. That's the grandmother, I suppose. Mama, can you tell us about the faces man again? Luna asked. That's Luna in my head. <laughs> Slender man, I worked for him when I was young. Never questioned him and was loyal to him. He knew of me being a witch. <laughs> a witch? Like what? <gasps> it was a low buzzy beeble because I got a dext. I didn't get a dext. Is that gay? He came for me when I was eight. My grandmother and mother both were proxies to him. That's not what a proxy is. A proxy is a replacement, not a helper or whatever you're trying to make it be. When I came in, he let my mother go. <laughs> this has gone from Jewish mother to the bad guy from Wreck-It Ralph. It's amazing. One day he gave me orders on a man I had to get rid of. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Papa, they both asked. Papa. I think it's trying to be Papa, like like you would call your granddaddy, your, your great granddaddy, if you like uh, did that. But I'm I'm uh, I was born in Dublin, so I call my grandfather uh, Opa, which is German, and neither of those things are true. <clears throat> Yes, the orders were for Papa. Slenderman figured he was human. No one told him otherwise. He led me into a blind battle thinking I had a human to kill, but to my surprise, when I found him, I was faced with a ghoul. What does that even mean? That never has meant anything to me. Ghoul is not a thing that you name like a, a species, right? It's, it's like a... It's like a, a servant to a demon is what I think of when I think of a ghoul. A ghoul. I decided to sneak up on him and kill him that way. But when I got closer, he threw me back into a tree. I ended up dropping my knife and my knife. What are you doing? There are so many ways to kill a guy and you use a, a short blade. Come on. Lame. Worst murderer. I have to admit, when I saw him in the moonlight, he was quite handsome. 
He just stared at me. Then he speaks, telling me he thought I was a guy. Neither of us could kill... What? Neither of us could kill the other, and we ended up talking a while before we started dating. When we started dating, I was 16. But when I was 20, we got married. Bad idea. Because uh, I was pregnant with your mother. Oh. Slender Man wanted me to get rid of the baby, but I didn't want to. So that night, I ran away with Papa and put a charm on us so we couldn't be found. It's a new, uh, new voice. Why does Mummy hate being a witch? Dawn asked the question that has been burning on her mind. <laughs> she doesn't like it. She wanted to be a human, so she gave up her powers. She doesn't even remember being a witch. Rules have it that if you give your powers up, being a witch is erased from your memory. What rules? Your father also gave up his powers, and both their powers went to you, Goyles. They make you stronger witches. <laughs> Anak stands... S okay. A knock sounds at the door, and their grandmother always already knows it's their mother. So, she messed up there for grandmother, but not for mother. It's their mother, but their, uh, here, grandmother. Because, why? The girls leave, going home for the day. Good scene. Good one. Dawn is sitting in her bed. She has pink hair. Oh, God, not this, not this again. Pink hair with orange highlights, gray eyes, and her hair goes down to mid-back. She is tall and slim. Her, t <laughs> her twin sister's name is Luna. She has dark blue hair with black highlights, blue eyes, and her hair goes down to mid-back. <laughs> like her sister, she is also tall and slim. They are 17 years old, pale-skinned, and their birthday is October 31st. Because Jesus Christ, what even is originality? The girls are sitting in their beds at the insane asylum. Not here beds. Their beds. Their parents put them there. That's the correct one. A year before there. That's the correct one. Grandmother died. The girls are referred to as the psycho twins by the doctors and patients. Even though I would assume that the majority of people at an insane asylum would be psychopaths, sociopaths, schizophrenics, and people with anxiety disorders. But no. These two specifically, we are going to call the Psycho Twins. Why? It makes them special. Dawn and Luna are both sighting together, looking at creepypastas on their laptops. They've loved them ever since they were young. But I thought this was a universe where they existed, so are the stories from people who actually know that they existed, in which case, why wouldn't we see it on the news? Okay, that's fine. Whoa, whoa. Roxy, lucky, Luna says. Dawn's middle name is Roxy, so Luna sometimes calls her that. Okay, Zelda what? Luna's middle name is Zelda, so Dawn sometimes calls her that. Ten out of ten. It's a love of your life, Dark Link. She does the kissy sounds. <laughs> she does the kissy sounds. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Shut up! She blushes, crimson red. What about the love of your life, Ben? She's inherited something from her grandmother because I forgot what the original voice was, I suppose. She smirks. Shush, keep it down, she whisper yells. We get out tomorrow and I don't want to be put back in for another year. That's not how that works. That's right, it's been, what, six years since we got to put in? She is Italian now, Dawn asked. Seven. Dawn? Yo, Luna! When we get out, can we visit Mama's grave? It's been six years since she passed. Exposition! Exposition! Rush it out in seconds flat! Sorry. <laughs> I know! I miss on a so much, but that sounds like a good idea. Before we get to cut up with our lives, we can go visit here. Don starts tearing up. Luna pulled her into a hug, and Don starts to hiccup. <laughs> After a few minutes, Jesus Christ, Luna pulls back, helping her to try to get rid of her hiccups. When she is calmed down, they close their laptops and lie down. Good night, Don. Good night, Luna. They both lie there until they fall asleep. Good scene! Good! 
this person really knows how to close out their scene strongly. Woohoo! <laughs> Dawn wakes up first and crawls out of bed. This is the next day, by the way. She sits by the window watching the sunrise. Luna wakes up a few minutes after the sun is high above the horizon. Good scene. What time? <clears throat> what the time is it do we get out? Luna asked. Five. They want to run a few tests to see if we are stable enough to be part of society. With air quotes. Luna groans, falling back in bed. How <laughs> Part of these doctors don't think we are psychotic. Very, because they're right. That's the dumbest exchange I've ever heard. That 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 would be like two people who are depressed and like in a depression uh building recovery thingy, and one's like, it's really, it's really messed up that these doctors think we're depressed. And the other one goes like, we are depressed. And the first one goes like, ha ha ha. Like, that's what happens. They both laugh for a minute. <laughs> they both laugh before a male nurse unlocks their door. Morning, ladies, he smiles. Why don't you watch? That's both of them. They smile back. <laughs> he is the only one who doesn't refer to them as the Psycho Twins. Don't really know why. His name is George. He walks off and the girls walk out before go going, going to breakfast. They, they, don't, they just let the psychopathic people walk to where they need to be. If you have, like, severe psychopathy, doesn't that... No, that's schizophrenia. What does psychopathy do? Well, besides the obvious. I don't think it does anything physical, but mm, I would not feel safe just sort of letting there be... letting them walk around unescorted. Because if you're in an asylum, you're probably dangerous to the general public. <laughs> anyway, they usually have something like oatmeal for breakfast, but today was different, so they have pancakes for breakfast. Good detail. The girls get their food and walk over to their tables. They sit down eating. After, like, while they sit down, they are eating, and as they sit down, no eating. The, the sitting stops the eating. Once, they done, once done, they walk to the entertainment center. Dawn draws while Luna listens to Green Day. <laughs> it's one of these! Oh, God! Oh, Lord! Dawn, it's one of our fave songs. She unplugs the headphones to let her listen. My naughty thing. Sing with me. The ne I swear to God, the next eight, like 18 paragraphs are the whole lyrics to the song. Luna finish up, finishes up the song and the girls start laughing. Hours pass before the doctors start their tests on Dawn and Luna. Why? Why was that in your story? Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh -oh! the girls ask the doctor. You pass the test. You two are free to go. They get the clothes that their parents dropped off for them. Dawn wears a black veil bride's shirt with black jeans and converse, while Luna wears a Green Day shirt because... Good music isn't allowed. <laughs> Green Day shirt with matching jeans and converse. The girls walk out the door going to the store. They have money in the pocket of their jeans. They walk in the store looking at the flowers and stuff. Dawn gets black magic roses, while Luna gets crimson roses. Their grandmother loved both types. They walk out after paying and walk to the really psychotic and walk to the graveyard. Once there, they find the grave and sit on their knees beside it. Not here knees, their knees. Dawn places her roses, then Luna places hers. Wish we could have said bye m oh, wait. Wish we could have said bye, mama, but we wasn't there. We love you. And we miss you so much. Luna finishes up what Dawn was going to say. The girls get up, only to have a bag thrown over their heads and feel a prick in their thighs. Mm, that means something that I don't think you wanted it to. The girls struggle before passing out in the stranger's arms. Thought they were witches. 10 out of 10. Author's note. <laughs> What's the author? Okay, first chapter done. What'd you think, Creepers? That's the name, I guess, for the fandom of Creepypasta. I'll post Thursdays on this story 
I'm going to try to have at least four days that I post in the week on my stories. For now, the list is Wednesdays on my vampire story, Thursdays for this story, Friday is Ask the Pastas, and Saturdays will be when I post on Twisted Love and Slender's Daughter. See you next up, the creepers. Days about the posting will go into effect starting next week. I hate you. And that was the end of the first chapter. Meaning that I don't have to read anymore unless people explicitly ask for me to read more. Which is amazing to me. And, and I love it. It's great. So, um, that was that. I'm upset now. Like, legitimately, legitimately upset. And I'll uh, see y'all later. Bye.